So hello, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony. This is a picture of live rainfall and the river running across my front porch. Seriously. It's July the 6th. And it is raining so hard that there's just different rivers of water in my yard. I'm serious. This is like, wow. And when you look, okay, at the barn, the horse pen is underwater. And... Wow, that's a beautiful light show. I don't know how that's happening. It's something to do with the light and the rain. Isn't that amazing? The Lord is so amazing. But look at that water. Look at that river. Wow, that was just lightning. Look at the river. I mean, my entire front and backyard are under water almost completely except for the water going around the barn. So I just wanted to share with you guys how rivers of living water are supposed to be flowing through you. And I pray this morning that rivers of living water are flowing through you, but I wanted to cast your attention onto the, the word that I received from the Lord today is when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will lift up a standard against that enemy. Look at that water. Isaiah 59, 19. So as the result of Messiah's intervention, they shall reverently fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him and put him to flight. For he will come like a rushing stream, which the breath of the Lord drives. And they shall fear the name of Jehovah from the west and from the rising of the sun, his glory. When the adversary shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of Jehovah will lift up a banner against him. The Spirit of the Lord lifting up a standard or a banner against the enemy brings to mind another passage, Exodus 17, 8 through 16. Here Moses was leading the Israelites in the wilderness and they came under attack by the Amalekites. They were descendants of Amalek, a grandson of Esau. In verse 15, after the battle is won, Moses builds an altar and names it Jehovah Nisi. Nisi translated, the Lord is my banner. The derivative translation is what? Ness. The theological word book of the Old Testament provides the following insights into the meaning of this word, saints. Look at the beautiful rain on the screen. It looks like light. In the Old Testament, Ness generally means a rallying point or a standard which drew people together for some common action or for the communication of important information, saints. This usually happened on a high or conspicuous place within the camp or community. There, a signal pole, sometimes with an ensign attached, could be raised as a point of focus or object of hope people would gather there and rally around the nest for various purposes. But one of the most important purposes, saints, was the gathering of troops for war. The standard was usually raised on a mountain or another high place. Moses stood on top of that hill with the rod of God in his hand and showed whose camp he and his people belonged to. It rallied the Lord's people to fight the Amalekites and it gave them encouragement and it gave them hope. Praise the Lord. Lord, we are your people and we need hope. 
saints, when Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. And when he let his hand down, Amalek, Amalek prevailed. The rod in Moses' hand was given by the Lord representing divine appointment and an intervention. The constantly upraised hands of Moses showed the fervent prayers of his heart as he witnessed this battle. Saints, if you're going through a battle, raise your hands as a standard, as a banner. When you raise a standard or a banner, you show whose camp you are in. When you raise the Lord's banner and you praise Him and you worship Him, you're encouraging yourself, you're encouraging other people that they belong to the Lord and they are under His protection. Saints, you are under His protection. Raising the banner also intimidates your enemy. It puts your enemy to flight. Anytime I take my standard up, my shepherd's staff, my rod, People get frightened when I raise it. It looks like a weapon. Some of them have no clue what it is. They don't understand that the raising of the Lord's banner leads his people toward victory. Saints, when I take that staff in my hand, it becomes a weapon. It's a banner. This is who I belong to, and this is who you're going to have to fight to get through to get to me, and that's the Lord God himself. Raise the Lord's banner. Move forward in victory, saints. It was true in the past. And saints, when that enemy comes in like a flood and you raise up that banner, in the future, it's going to be true. Lord, you have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth, that your beloved may be delivered, save with your right hand, and hear me. What is the Lord's banner over us? What is it? We're his people. What is his banner, saints? He brought you to the banqueting house and his banner over you is love. It's interesting to note that in the amplified version of Isaiah 59, 19, which references the below verses, also mentions the feast or the banquet hall. Matthew 8, 11, I tell you, many will come from east and west and sit at the table of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And people will come from east and west and north and south and sit down at the feasting table in the kingdom of God, Luke 13, 29. Luke 13, 29 appears in a discussion about the narrow gate, the narrow door, and is clearly looking forward to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Many will try to enter. But I believe, saints, they're going to get up and they're going to get caught up in the flood waters of this world. They're going to get caught up in the flood waters of this natural realm. They're going to get caught up in all of the panic and all of the fear, saints. And they're going to miss out on the marriage supper of the Lamb. This is a mighty raging river right across my front yard. But let me tell you what, saints. When the enemy comes in like a flood, lift up a banner. Lift up a standard. Lift up your praise and your adoration. Lift up your voices. Come here, chief. Come on. Come on. Get on the porch. Come on. Come on, old man. The saints, when the enemy comes in like a flood, it's time, saints, to lift up that standard. It's time to lift up that banner. Come on, old man. There you go. I guess he didn't like his house. He wanted to be with me. Father God, I just ask you in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that your people would hear your voice. They would lift up a standard, Father God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, Father God, they'll no longer be cowering in fear, but they will lift up a standard, Father God. They will lift up a standard against the enemy. And when those floodwaters of fear, when those floodwaters of anxiety, when those floodwaters of worry, when those floodwaters of weak faith and lack of faith, unbelief, when they come in like a flood, Father God, you will encourage your people as they lift up a banner, a standard of praise and worship and adoration, Father God, that they not be overwhelmed by the floodwaters. And Father, I just praise you and thank you 
that as Moses lifted up that standard, we will lift up that standard physically, Father God, in flags and banners and incense and signs in our staff of authority. But Father God, most importantly, we will lift up a standard of praise, a standard of worship, a standard of adoration. And when those floodwaters come, Father God, our hope will be in you. Father God, I thank you for grace. I thank you for mercy. And I thank you, Father, for the standard of praise. I can lift my hands and I can praise you in the storm. I can praise you in the storm, Father God. Saints, have a beautiful day. The day that the Lord has made, July the 6th, 2020. Saints, I got to say it. This is not the kind of weather that you see in July in Texas. Something is going on in this world. Wake up, saints. Something is happening supernatural. You're either going to get in the living water or you're going to be overwhelmed by the floodwaters of the enemy. I love you. God bless you. It's Sister with a Testimony.